Welcome back to Wonderful Stays Home Tours. I hope you enjoyed your Thanksgiving and ate a lot of turkey. Once again, I am Brian. And I'm Hong. We're here in Sunnyvale, California, looking at the Santorini Community by D.R. Horton. It is a three-story townhome with a four-bedroom, three-and-a-half bath, two-car bay garage in a 1,866 square feet living space, starting from $1,349,000. If you guys are interested in real estate, looking for interior design ideas, or just curious about homes in the Bay Area, come take a look with us. Let's go. Boom! The condo that we just saw is way better. A hundred times better, huh? I don't know where we were Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like, um, KB, huh? <laughs> so this is going to be um, a little bit larger. This is a furnished floor plan. Yeah. yeah. So there will be furnishing in there. Uh -huh. um, furniture is not included with any of our homes, but if you did like any of the furniture, we have a third party consignment we can okay. always go through. Cool. Um, but enjoy, guys. I will be in here. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you. No problem. So, yeah, the first bedroom yeah, really the first one. But this is uh, brighter. The sink is really, yeah, really um, not as deep. Here's your toilet area. Here's the shower. Oh, this is cool <laughs> for this shower. It has that little place where you can put one bottle, I guess, one or two. Again, with the sink. Dude, this is gonna splash a lot, right? Or you you just gonna always bump, right? Oh, but this is nice. I like that. The color, so many, so much color to it. It's nice. I'll check out outside real quick. There's a closet. Yeah, I'll check that one out. Interesting. The blinds are installed in a different way from you, how you would enter. Yeah, it should be the other way around. Alright. Yeah. They needed to flip this around, huh? 180, the blinds at least. There's your patio. of you. Yeah, thank you just going haywire. Uh, so your closet, your walk-in closet. It's like three by two? Mm-hmm. Okay, this has wheelings. Please remove your shoes. Okay. Shoes off. Similar powder room that we saw earlier. And here's your toilet on this side. Okay. Kind of nice. Good. This is kind of nice actually. The island is kind of small. The kitchen is really nice though. Let's check this out. Is that frozen? When you open it, you can kind of feel it because there's no resistance. Okay. 
Yeah, at least it matches. This uh, attention to detail, right? <laughs> and this is really nice. I like the backdrop. But I do like this about this house, right? There's no gas. There's the only electric. So stupid. Hey, that's what you told me last week. But that's not on the <laughs> I just texted you that. <laughs> cool. It sucks that they didn't continue the cabinets to the top, huh? Let's check this out. What is this? Pantry. Okay. This is kind of nice. Your laundry room. Let me turn on the lights real quick. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder how easy is it? No, it's pretty hard to get stuff actually. So that's why there's cabinets on this side. Makes life much easier. I've never seen a store like this actually. It's kind of cool. Here's your view. Playground and a little barbecue area. Hello, Mr. Brian. Inside. What is this? Your closet. The dining room is kind of interesting. Living space. They could have done so much more with this, huh? The space. Uh -huh. Like put shelving or or something. Yeah. Oh, but we can't go outside now. No shoes. So we're outside. Wraps around similar to the other one, but it's not. Get over here. Thank you. One cool thing about this house is that they have. Move this up so it's easier to see. The three potholes for your plants if you guys like to grow a lot of plants. That's really nice, right? Especially when you water it, it just goes down. But I do like the carpet. This is the best thing about um, these models so far. Why would they have a plug here? That's an interesting vacuum. Ah, you're right. How oh, cool so dark? Yeah. So you have your cabinet here. A bedroom. Nice. Music themed. Normal walk and normal closet. This room is actually pretty big. It's not as square as um, the ones we saw previously. Here's your view from uh, this room. So it looks like there's apartments over there some businesses other townhomes here too oh this is actually pretty nice interesting idea all right let's check out this bedroom baby room i like these bedrooms that have a little mini hallway 
It's kind of cool. So that means your closet is on your left side. Boys are just superheroes in disguise. <laughs> nice signage. Oh, it's not a walk-in closet. There's so much space. I wonder why. I saw the plumbing and stuff in the back. We have regular sliding door closet. Nice baby area. The carpet is really nice if you have kids and you're afraid that they'll fall. So nice and squishy and, and soft. Um, townhome, more homes view. Similar view to what we just saw. The trash um, area is shared here in this community. And the mailbox is right there. This is a nice room though. Seems like they just cleaned it, huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. They need to turn on all the lights for people to see. The island for this is pretty big. Um, yeah, so they have a tub here instead. Yes, yeah, so there's some type of plumbing that takes away from the other room. Which could have been a walk in closet, right? I do like this backdrop though. It's really nice, but the sink is really shallow. It's not as deep. Alright, check out the master. The ceilings seem pretty high for this one, huh? Mm. The bed yeah. looks just... Just barely fits a king. Mm. Nice design so far. High windows. Probably a 9 feet uh, ceiling, huh? So, you know when you buy a master or you go into a master bedroom, you expect to see a walk-in closet. So this is your walk-in closet. But it's actually just closet. a regular closet that's um, twice as deep. So it's, uh, maybe a little longer too, but it's really small. Interesting design choices, huh? Yeah. And here's your... Let me turn on all the lights. Okay, so here's your master bedroom. Or oh, restroom. Here's your toilet. And here's your shower. The shower's actually really nice, huh? It's kind of weird that there's a window. Right where you're gonna shower. Shower's okay. Which is okay, yeah, not too bad. Assuming there's no house right, right there. Cause oh, and this cannot be paper, right? Cause um, moisture. Moisture will damage it. Yeah. At least there's a a place to sit and a small place to put your shampoo here. That can can then used to here. Or over there in the corner. Yeah, we're right there, huh? I do like the backdrop here. I do like this design. And this window here, at least you can put an actual plant. bigger the view in this one is way better right yeah Oi. yeah all right Brian now that we saw plan three what do you think of the home like I said previously before you're just praying for the area the home is nice it has a few things that are eye-catching but other than that yeah you're just paying for the area for instance, I like the hood in the kitchen. It was nice and shiny. It contrasted the white, gray, and blue in the kitchen. The second thing I like is that there's a porch and a deck. 
The perch is on the first floor off the bedroom on the first floor and the deck is on the second floor off the family room. Having a porch is nice and so that way you could just relax. The deck on the second floor is nice as well. It's pretty spacious and you could probably fit a small table and enjoy the evening as well from the deck. The one thing I don't like is the cabinet. It doesn't go up to the ceiling. There's a gap in between and it leaves chance for it to get dusty up in between there. What about you Hong? What do you like about the home? There's a couple of nice interior design ideas from this home like the tiles on the first floor restroom and the tiles in the kitchen but the carpet still stands out the most in this house actually. It feels really nice to stand on and walk on. The second thing I like about this house is that if you like to plant things there's stuff outside the window on the family room or right next to the deck that you can pot three different plants if you like. That's a nice feature to have especially in California you don't really have a backyard or if you do you have a really small one it makes use of the space pretty smartly the one thing i don't like about this house is that in the master bedroom there's no walk-in closet it's a actual closet that's like two times wider and deeper but it's not an actual walk-in closet it's kind of weird especially because the first floor has a walk-in closet even though it's small at least it's a, a square shape but this one feels like a bad compromise for the owners of the home all right, hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Hope you guys found some nice interior design ideas. If you guys like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. We're going to go to Santa Clara on Monday to check out Juan Lawrence. Hope you guys have a good weekend. See you Monday.